Let's talk about Judaism and Christianity, some things they have in common, some things that are different. When you open this document, it's going to be a little different to edit in. And when you double click on this picture, it will pop up this drawing feature. And it's in this drawing tool that you can edit these boxes. So as I'm going through this video, go ahead and edit along with me here. Let's we'll start with the similarities. First of all, both are monotheistic faiths. They believe in one God and they would say they believe in the same God. Another similarity is that their religions begin in a similar region, location which is where present-day Israel is in the Middle East, Mesopotamia region when we were studying that. Another thing they have in common is that they are ancestors of Abraham. They are both considered to be faiths that he is the father of. Both of their Bibles have same similar story about Abraham and his promise with God. And there's some other similarities too, but these are a few that stand out as being important. Now, some differences. First of all, Judaism is the older of the two religions. They started in about 2500 BCE. Christianity a little bit newer, about 2500 years newer. And they began with... A lot of Jewish people were part of this new Christian faith, but eventually there was a, a shift where Christianity became its own faith and religion. But a lot of the early Christians were people who were Jewish, and they ended up leaving their some of their customs and faith. One major difference in their belief system, Judaism does not recognize Jesus as being the Son of God or a Messiah of any kind. Christians do. The Jews, they spoke the Hebrew language, which outside of their, their group of uh, family and believers, no one else spoke Hebrew. And as time went on, some Christians spoke Hebrew, but some spoke Greek, some spoke uh, languages from other parts of the world, Latin, and in general, Christians, as time went on from when they started to when they were really growing in the first couple hundred years after Jesus, they had people that spoke all kinds of languages. And I'll talk about, I mean, a big re thing that makes this important is that if you can speak multiple languages, then you can reach multiple groups of people. If you can only speak Hebrew, then you're really not able to reach out and spread your faith and beliefs to other other parts and other people because they don't even understand you. Which is why Judaism is a very small population today, only about 15 million. Like I said before in the notes, they're not as concerned with spreading their faith. Christians are, and that leads them to have the largest population. And that speaking of Greek initially was a big part of it, especially when um, you know, they're, they have Christian missionaries who are looking to travel and they have a common language with people from different nations the greek language and that helped them communicate their faith to other people jews were more inclusive with their faith inclusive just meaning they wanted to keep it to themselves they weren't as interested in spreading their faith to other people. They're, they're, they thought the best way to continue their faith is to honor God by keeping their religion in their family, in their nationality, not really spreading it out to other groups. Whereas the Christians were much more open, and their whole goal was to spread their faith to different cultures and different countries and regions. Uh, be due to their customs and their lang different language, B 
the Jews were very rarely accepted by outsiders. Christians, on the other hand, they grew in their numbers. One way, a lot of it had to do with the early Roman Empire. Maybe you've heard of Rome. It was It's something you're going to learn about in seventh grade next year in social studies. I really find ancient Rome pretty interesting. But ancient Rome was, was the mega power of the world roughly 2,000 years ago. And they were the mega power for hundreds and hundreds of years. And they did, in the early days of Christianity, they did not like Christianity because they're proclaiming God and they're and they're preaching this Jesus character who's supposed to be the son of God and the Romans believed that their emperor their their king so to speak he was really the one who is the son of God he's the powerful one and and this idea that Christians were following Jesus was a threat so there a lot of emperors in Rome did not like the Christians at all and so they would it ended up uh, persecuting them, which means that it could be that they're putting Christians in prison or killing them, basically trying to make life miserable for them to try to push them out of that faith and religion. You would normally think that if you kill Christians in front of everybody, that it would cause them to other people to not want to practice that faith, but it actually had a different effect. And one effect that it had was that people saw that there were Christians willing to die for their faith and people were inspired by their, by their dedication. And that helped grow the numbers in the early days in Rome. And then eventually after hundreds of years of Christians spreading their faith and increasing, it grew even more so when it became accepted by a Roman emperor himself. And this Roman emperor was named Constantine, and he established that all of Rome was to be Christians. So while the Jews were not accepted by outsiders, the Christians were. And these are some of the major differences and then like the first three were similarities between Judaism and Christianity.